What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video I'm going to be showing off some gameplay on my Titan with a God Rolled Compass Rose with almost 90 range, Quick Draw, and Vorpal on it. And yes, there are lots of Vorpal Shotgun Super Shutdowns in this gameplay. With Vorpal on the Compass Rose, you can give Supers the old 1-2 punch like we could back in Destiny 1. Now this season is a little different in PvP after the mid-season shakeup that we got weeks ago. We're seeing lots of slug shotguns and even fusion rifles more frequently in PvP than we were before. So anything you can do to close that gap fast with melee builds is going to be a strong option. Uh, voops and slugs really struggle with things that do uh, like these melee animations that are a little bit more tricky to follow because it does kind of mess up your aim assist and the hitboxes are a little bit funky during those animations. So I think uh, you can probably think of a time where maybe there was a, a character that was meleeing a teammate of yours and you were trying to line up a shot on them and they're sort of rubber banding back and forth. Those melee builds make them really hard to track. Honestly, this feels a lot like the meta we had back in Season of the Worthy. Melee builds were pretty strong and uh, the trials metas they really included lots of like Antaeus Ward striker melee builds Karnstein armlets were a hot choice for warlocks disorienting blow was a hot choice for arc striders as well this feels similar in a lot of ways to that season minus the aggressive frame shotgun spam that we had back then that was back when like astral first came out and then uh, Felwinster followed shortly after we still have some of that right now, but slugs are shaking things up quite a bit. All this to say, there's a way to get literally free kills in PvP right now. Frankly, it's kind of dumb, but lots of fun, right? I'm using my God Rolled Compass Rose in conjunction with the Dune Marchers and a knockout frontal assault approach with Bottom Tree Striker. Now, you could probably remember back when when knockout frontal assault was really strong uh, several seasons ago and we actually got striker nerfed back then because mainly because the super was uh, like you could you could wipe a team with the super because of trample and then turn around and run to the other spawn and get another team wipe with the same super active it was really just ridiculous and we actually ended up getting that super nerfed but um, but I, I have to say, Knockout and Frontal Assault, still very, very strong. And with this build, guys, it's absolutely busted. I have to say, I would not be surprised if we see a Dune Marcher nerf in the near future. This build basically does half the work for you. If you can break a shield, then you're in business. And your kit is going to start popping off for you. Knockout gives you huge melee range and wide tracking on your melee. In some cases, it's going to lunge at people that you're not even facing directly. It'll turn you 45 degrees in any direction, left, right, up, down, in any diagonal, to track a target and lunge at them. Not only that, but it's going to do extra melee damage because of the buffs that activate when you get knockout, right? This is why I can one-two punch supers consistently, because I'll pop the shields with the Vorpal Shotgun, and then my melee is now buffed to do enough damage to punch the super um, in, you know, in one hit and, and kill it. And uh, you'll see that in the video. Not only that, but Dune Archers are going to send out waves of electricity in every direction and tag people for big damage, sometimes around and through cover. It will chain to people literally outside of fusion rifle ranges. And on top of that, yes, there's more. <laughs> the melee kill is going to restore your health and also give... Um, it's going to reload your weapons, give your weapons a stability buff, and increase the damage of your weapons. Like, it's just... You're going to be filled with buffs <laughs> on the left side of your screen. You're going to shotgun somebody and pop their shields. You're going to have huge melee range. That's a buff. You're going to hit the melee button. You're going to fly through the air and you're going to hit him with extra melee damage. That's a buff. Electricity is going to shoot out in every direction and tag any enemy moving in your vicinity. That's a buff. And they're going to chain that electricity to each other. And sometimes you're going to get multi-kills on guys you didn't see at all. They're just going to die because they were close-ish to where you punched somebody. Now, you're going to restore your health. That's a buff. And you're going to reload your weapons. That's a buff. And your weapons are going to have more stability. It's a buff. And your weapons are going to do extra damage. 
That there's a buff. It's kind of nuts. It's kind of nuts. That means easy one-shot kills with your shoddy on anything in your vicinity because they're already primed with dune marchers and also your shotgun is going to be doing extra damage. I'm not kidding when I say it's free kills. There are times in this video where I just sprint into a room of baddies and shoddy melee the first thing that I see and get a triple kill, a quad, a slayer five-piece medal. It's minimum effort, high return. So is this a cheesy way to play? Absolutely. Is it fun? Yep. <laughs> is it effective? Yep. I'm going to keep it real with you. Destiny is heavily ability focused right now, and it has been for some time. A lot of engagements come down to factors like who has more abilities still on cooldown, what AoEs are in play, stuff like that. It's becoming increasingly possible to frag out in a lobby without having the best aim. Whether or not that's good for Destiny is really up to you and Bungie. But this is the game that we're playing right now, so try to play it better than anyone else. You guys know by now I tend to focus heavily on gunplay builds. Most of my builds involve foregoing ability spam in favor of buffing my weapons. That's why I main right now Devour Warlock. Because I'm actually consuming my abilities in order to give myself um, health chaining when I get kills with my weapons. And then I can maximize things like Kill Clip and Rampage because I don't have to go heal while those buffs are active, I can just keep holding forward and just gun kill, gun kill, gun kill, gun kill, ramp up my buffs on my guns while keeping my health topped off after, after every kill. My latest videos include a sniper montage with Wraith Metal Mail procced to give me snappy weapon handling and responsiveness, a video highlighting Ace of Spades leveraging a build that leans into precision damage buffs and stability chaining buffs, a Sunbreaker build that focused on ramping up weapon damage in stacks while chaining weapon kills, a chromatic fire precision kinetic weapon build, a video focusing on scout rifles and maximizing their potential. You get the idea. I like gun builds more than anything in Destiny, but that doesn't mean every now and then I don't want to switch the brain off and lean into some raw aggressive playstyles that make lightning shoot out in every direction and get chaotic clips. It's fun sometimes. I highly recommend taking some time to lean into some melee builds this season before we dive into the next one. May as well capitalize on all the opportunity to embrace chaos and power fantasy. Hopefully you enjoyed the gameplay and the silly clips. I greatly appreciate you stopping by the channel today and interacting with my content. If you liked the video, please feel free to hit the like button and consider subscribing for more Destiny-related content. Be warm and well-fed, my friends, and I hope to catch you in the Crucible.